Yo, what is going on guys and today I'm gonna bring you a tutorial on the famous game called Splatoon If you don't know what Splatoon is, it's basically a game where you can go around and shoot paint on objects And the team that has the most paint on the objects wins So your objective is to have the most paint on paintable surfaces And with this plugin you guys can have classes, there's signs, you can have multiple arenas This plugin is just great So you can get Splatoon for your Minecraft server by watching this tutorial So the first thing that you're gonna need is this plugin Plugin, and you're gonna need a lot of other plugins actually the, the plugins will be in the description and plugins are short commands lib disguises protocol lib and world edit now you might have some of those plugins so just make sure you get the ones that you don't have yet and then restart your server so the next thing that you can do is you can get an arena so I have this arena it's not really the best I recommend you either create one or just download one that looks really nice but the point of this is to inside of your arena you're gonna want to create a lot of surfaces from the paintable material in the config so if you go inside your splatoon ultimate folder then you'll see the config.yml and inside here are the paintable surfaces that you can change so you can add any surface that you want but the main point of this is to add these into your arena because the point of this game is to paint the paintable surfaces and if you don't have any of the paintable surfaces in your arena then what's the point so make sure you add some wool stained clay stained glass and stained glass paint and you can add any of these colors purple stained clay red stained clay whatever color stained glass that you want and whatever color wool that you want so this is going to be a colorful game as you can tell and yeah so I have a lot of wool here on the floor some stained glass stained clay and over there I have some more stained clay and also make sure that your arena has some walls so your players can't just walk out of it and besides that let's go ahead and get started with creating this and also with the classes if you're stepping on your own team's paint then you'll gain a speed boost and if you're standing in another team's paint the opponent's paint then you'll start to slow down and lose health so there's some pretty cool classes features and also inside of your arena there's going to be a max of four teams red green blue and yellow so you might want to indicate where those team spawn points are going to be so like what i'm about to do right now is i'm going to put like yellow wool right there green wool over there blue and red wool just to help myself to know where those teams will spawn at when we set the spawn points all right so i went ahead and did that there's the yellow team and then greens over there and you know i just spread it out and now we can actually go ahead and create our arena so with world edit we can type slash slash wand and that'll give us our wand tool with this we can set the boundaries of our arena and we can select the arena size so what you want to do is you want to make sure you get two corners of the arena and they have to be diagonally across from each other so we can select a top corner right there go diagonally across like that and then on the other side there's going to be the bottom corner so like that there's the bottom corner but on the other side so we're gonna have to go diagonally across like that from top to bottom like that so just make sure you have your highest block selected on this top corner so as you can see right there that's actually higher than my corner so I'm gonna have to add a block just for the sake of this and I note one more and then there we go now it's officially the highest block that's what you want to do for your top corner so go ahead and left click on your top corner now we can delete that and then now we're gonna go all the way down and across and then to the bottom corner. So make sure you select everything and this is as far as it goes to the bottom. So there's nothing else underneath it. And we can go ahead and right click. So there we go, we have the two corners selected. And now we can type splat arena new and hit enter. So this will give us a number, make sure to remember that number. It starts off with zero, that's our first arena number. So now we can actually set the spawn points for each team. So just stand where we indicated those spots and type slash splat, spawn, and then the team color. So mine is green, that's my first one right here. Now we're gonna set the, well, whatever is really closer to you. I have blue closer to me, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. I'm going to type the same command except change the last word to whatever color you're doing now. So I'm doing blue now, so I'm going to type that. Now red, okay. So let me go ahead and finish these. And the last one is over here. So, yeah, right there, okay. So you can go ahead and finish that off. And there we go. 
all right and now you can go into another world or just somewhere outside the arena and now we can set the exit spawn location so this is going to be the spawn point where the players go to when the game is over so i'm going to set it somewhere close to my lobby or just a place close to your join signs so i'm just going to set it in this other world here and my join signs will be in there so at least it's kind of close to where they can go play another game if they want to but now when you're ready you can type slash splat spawn exit and then the number for your arena so zero was our first number for the arena and that's what it is so i'm going to type zero so there we go okay so the next thing that we want to do is we want to have a lobby so as i was showing you guys earlier this is my lobby where the players will have their join signs and they can easily join a game so what you want to do inside this lobby is you just want to place down a sign and hit done and that is a sign that we're going to have to link with the command so with this command and by looking at the sign and making sure that it is highlighted we can type slash splat sign and then the arena number so the arena number was zero and there we go so the arena number zero open time remaining so then now that is a sign for this arena all right so the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create some signs for the classes now there are four classes so we're going to have to create four blank signs so after that you can go ahead and take a look at the classes actually the description is on the screen and as you guys can see the classes are really different from each other and it'll make the players be very different from each other because these classes are so different from each other so that's what i like about this plugin but we're going to go ahead and make these signs classes signs so just look at your first sign type splat sign your arena number and then type the name of the class so i'm going to type shooter and enter so there we go so we're gonna go to the next sign and look at it to the same command and except change the last word from shooter to charger that is the next class name and then you can just keep doing this for the other class names so roller is the next one and then the last one is called carrier bam there we go so they can click to join as whatever the class they want to join as so that is pretty cool right there so there's one more thing that we have to do and we have to create the match inside of the game so slash splat match create and then the arena number bam there we go so the match is queued now players can actually join so they can either join with that command or they can just right click and join as a class all right so i hopped back onto my server and bobby right here he joined and the message went off so that's pretty cool that it actually announces it so when a, like a player has joined and it'll announce it so other players will want to join but he's on the pink team and now and now i'm going to join with him and then there we go so now two players have joined but to actually start the game we can vote to start it so here's the thing if more than 60 percent type this command slash vote start then it will start so obviously if i were to type it right now it wouldn't work and wouldn't start because that's 50 percent but let's say we have three players and two of those players voted then it would start because it's basically majority rules and i can't really show you guys gameplay because at least two people have to be on one team so the minimum amount of players could be four and I don't have that, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Hopefully I did set this up correctly on your server. And if I did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.